Hey everyone, it's Jillian from the Robotech team here to bring you another Revit tutorial. Recently included in all Revit subscriptions is access to Twinmotion. With a new partnership between Autodesk and Epic Games, all Revit subscribers now have access to this real-time visualization tool to produce high-quality images. So let me go ahead and show you how to access your Twinmotion subscription. First, we'll want to open up our Autodesk desktop app and scroll all the way down to the bottom to access all our products and services. You can also open up a browser and go to manage.autodesk.com slash home. On the left-hand toolbar, go to all products and services. Then either type in the search bar or scroll down to find Twinmotion. Once you've found the app, click on Access, which will take you to Twinmotion's webpage. You may have to view and accept the end user license agreement, or like in my case, you can just click on Download under Link. Your download will typically be found in your Downloads folder. Otherwise, just go ahead and navigate to wherever the file has been downloaded to. I've already gone ahead and moved mine to my desktop. Now right click on the file and extract it. Note that the extraction may take several minutes. All right, once the extraction is done, go ahead and open the folder and then double click on the .msi file to start the installation. Again, note installation may take several minutes. We'll click on next, accept the end user license agreement one more time, hit next. This is where the program will be downloaded to. Hit next, and then finally hit on install. Once it's complete, you can go ahead and click on finish. Next, you will be prompted to download the Unreal Datasmith exporter for Revit. This is to allow for seamless access between your Revit project and Twinmotion. Now mine is already installed, so I'll go ahead and hit finish. I'll go ahead and close out these windows and we're ready to just launch Revit. Once Revit is open, go ahead and open up any project file. I'll use the sample architecture project. Now to send your project into Twinmotion, you must be within a 3D view. So let's go ahead and open one up. Now you'll click on the view tab, look in the presentation panel, and there you'll find the Twinmotion command. In the dropdown, you'll see other Twinmotion settings and tools, but for now, I'll go ahead and select Open in Twinmotion. When Twinmotion opens, you will be prompted to create either a new project or work on an existing one. There may be also additional options that you may want to work with. If you do not see them, click on the Options dropdown and then go ahead and hit OK. With your file now exported into Twinmotion, you can now populate your 3D model with Twinmotion assets. Feel free to navigate around your project, move the work plane up or down, open up the assets from Twinmotion and add things like vegetation, entourage, and other components to help bring your project to life. Since communication between Twinmotion and Revit are intended to be quick and easy, you can also make adjustments to Revit model and have it synchronized back into Twinmotion. Say I want to go ahead and remove those trees from Revit since we no longer need them and are using the Twinmotion assets. Simply open up your Revit model, select the items you want to modify, I'll select the trees and then go ahead and delete them.
then go back to these same twin motion commands. And this time we'll go ahead and click on direct link synchronize. You are not required to save your model, but simply return back to twin motion and you will see those model updates. Once you've finished working on your project, don't forget to save. No twin motion project, save with a .tm extension and hit save. Now you can go ahead and close twin motion. Now to take your project back into twin motion, simply go back to the twin motion command, click on open in twin motion. When prompted, select an existing project this time. and navigate to your saved project. And you can continue right where you left off. All right, that is it, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you will all have fun visualizing your Revit projects in Twinmotion. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Revit and Twinmotion content. Bye for now.